got to the NIT tournament, wound up losing in the, uh, I believe, the third round to Clemson. But uh, Andy's doing a good job. He's taking his road show here. He's got into Jackson, Mississippi. Great crowd here tonight in Jackson for his team. Catch Sports Night weeknights at 6 and 11 Eastern here on CSS. Tune in after the game tonight for a special high school recruiting segment from our In the Huddle host, me and Jamie Newberg. That's tonight at 11 Eastern right here on CSS. So far early in this contest, uh, Andy Kennedy bringing in lots of bodies. That's what you're going to see. The Rebels are off and running like they'd like to, Matt, but so far, cool shooting. And uh, Winthrop on the other end is uh, doing a good job getting the ball to the basket. Uh, Buchert we talked about, uh, excellent job. Two, two little uh, jump hooks down in the paint, and uh, he's got Winthrop off to a four-point lead. Ole Miss, uh, two of eight from the floor to start this ball game, one of four from behind the three-point line, and that's why they're down by four here in the early going. Winthrop once again is going to line up in this full court press. It's a test this young uh, backcourt of the Rebels. Indeed, Hurtis throwing the ball in as a starter early in the season, and the freshmen have just uh, simply stepped their game up. Yeah, David Hurtis really has struggled. Uh, had a 17-point game against Louisiana Monroe earlier, but shooting 22% from the three-point line. But uh, Andy Kennedy says they still believe in him. It's just a matter of time before he starts knocking them down. And that's exactly right. Transferred in from the state of Florida, the University of Florida, had to sit out last year, just off to a tough start so far. Larthus looking inside, tried to throw a cross court, had it stolen by Jenkins, ends up in the hands of Gaynor, and back to Jenkins for three, and he missed it off the back of the rim. Larthus got the rebound. Just got knocked down when he got the rebound, and they called him for trap. I think uh, Winthrop is very fortunate there. It looked like Gaynor was over the back, but uh, nowhere for Wirtis to, to fall when he comes down from behind, and he called him traveling. Surely did. Uh, appeared to be a foul, but uh, Winthrop throwing the ball in. Eagles haven't played in nine days. They had final exams. They beat Akron, a big comeback victory, and then Buser was called for trap. And just as soon as the Rebels turn it over, now Winthrop gives that uh, ball back to him on the turnover. Bishop one too many steps. Good move, just should have shot him one step quicker. That's the first turnover for Winthrop after four committed by Ole Miss. Matt, that's an area Andy Kennedy's really been upset about, his turnovers. You're going to see him get up and down the court, but this young backcourt has really turned it over several times. Something they've got to get better at as they get into conference play. Inside they go to Curtis, kick out to Williams. Ole Miss still having trouble finding the basket. Warren for three. Hard off the back of the rim. Wertis for three. Rebels do a good job on the offensive glass. Just can't buy a basket here in the early goal. Shooting 18% right now. Harris pulls up and hits it. Antoine Harris already has his per game average here in the first six minutes of the game. Seven of the Eagles' first 11 points. So far, everything going with its way. They're shooting the ball extremely well. Warren shot blocked by Jenkins. By Taj McCullough instead. And here comes Winthrop. Been a very ragged game so far on the offensive end of this Ole Miss offense. Uh, turnovers and poor shooting has uh, plagued the Rebels in the early going. Polonese tried to come up with the steal and reach in from behind on Jenkins and knocked out of bounds. Charles Corbin checks into the ball game for the first time, as does Manny Robinson. Corbin had been the starter early in the season. You'll notice a bandaged uh, left hand. He has got an injury, so he did not start tonight, but he's going to see some action. You see how he can shoot with that mangled finger that was knocked out of socket in practice a couple of days ago. Didn't shoot very well, did he? 6-0 lead for Ole Miss, 6-0 for Winter. He saw the drive a few moments ago, and Curtis ends it with the little hook and got fouled. Dwayne Curtis, Dwayne Curtis gives you such a strong body inside, Matt. I mean, you got to really foul this guy to keep him from shooting it. Good touch around the basket, as you can see. A 6'8 guy, doesn't jump particularly well, but a great touch around the basket. Dwayne Curtis out of Chicago by way of Auburn, shooting 81.5% from the free throw line, completes the three-point play. Wayne Curtis so far, really the only Rebels in this game that's uh, had any, any offensive uh, presence going. The Rebels shooting a real clear percentage so far. 
Gainer left open for a three and buries it. One thing, if you're a Rebel fan, Matt, it's going to get better for you because look at this, definitely shooting the ball well. Threes are going up and everything's going in so far for the Eagles. They get two of their first three-point attempts. Uh, the Rebels are one of six. Inside, Kenny Williams got fouled by McCullough from behind. And a good play. High low play inside. Uh, it was Dwayne Curtis down to Kenny Williams. And uh, nothing to do but fouling Kenny going in for the slam. And uh, a good play from behind to save the two-point slam. Kenny Williams going to shoot two. Yeah, that's actually a smart foul by McCullough because they keep Williams from getting the dunk, the momentum dunk. And also, they put him at the line where he's not a very good free throw shooter, shooting only 48% from the line this season. Although he pitched down the first. As soon as we try to put that kiss of death on him, and he buries the first one. But, but Kenny has struggled so far in the season at the, at the free throw line. Got a good rotation on the basketball, just uh, off to a poor start. Had shot uh, fairly well from the free throw line the last couple of seasons. Missed that. Hit that one and completes it. It's a four-point game. So the two out of two Rebels lining up in full court press here. So we get another uh, substitution for what the... Jenkins working against the pressure, gets it across. Inside the Corbin who puts it off. And with a good job of breaking the press by Ole Miss, Andy Kennedy known for his offensive uh, firepower, but he really believes in the defense. So far, with them shooting the ball well and breaking the press. Kenny Williams, cross court to Polonese. Polonese Crowder. Danielle Polonis has been off to a rough start. Foul trouble got him on the bench early against UCF. He never got on track in that ball game and off to a slow start here tonight as well. Six turnovers now for the Rebels. And that's really haunting the Rebels on the offensive end. Polonis is a kid who will take the, the ball off the dribble, get it to the hole. That time should have just gone up and tried to make the shot, man. He was trying to kick it off down low to Kenny Williams, but uh, unfortunately walked with it. And the Rebels average only 14 turnovers a game. Polonis comes up with the steal. That's one of his specialties. He's number eight in the conference in steals. Williams targets the defense down the floor and puts it in. Brian Smith, the youngest son of Toby Smith, has been inserted in the basketball game for Ole Miss. Good job there. Brings this Ole Miss crowd back to life. Trying to get the Rebels back in this basketball game. 